on tonight's show. We have crypto enthusiast and gamer, Mason Double OG. And now for your host, Cool Paul. What up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome back to the show, Kicking It With Cool Card Show. Every Tuesday night, we're in here, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard. I am your host, Cool Card, and I just wanna thank everybody who's tuning in, who will tune in. If you're catching this on the replay, I appreciate you. I appreciate your time, and I appreciate your support. Hey, y'all, last week I had Narvi Barbie. She's a van lifer, and if you don't know what a van lifer is, you definitely wanna go check last week's episode. It's someone who travels the nation in a van and they live out of the van. Now she's part-time right now, but she has been full-time, but I'm telling you, it's like the most intriguing thing that I've, that I've stumbled across. And I, I knew about it prior to interviewing her, but it was really new to me. So I just wanted to know a little bit more about it. And, and man, I'm telling you, definitely check out the episode. It's, it's a different side of life. It's a different side of life, but I would definitely try it out. I would definitely try it out, y'all. But hey, if you want to check Narvi out, you can check her out at Narvi Barbie on Instagram. That's N-A-R-V-I-E Barbie on Instagram. And she has her pet pig, Puma Sunflower, who travels along with her in her journeys. And he has his own Instagram page. It's called Van Life Piggy on Instagram. So y'all check her out, y'all. Show her some love and support. She's also an artist. And she also has a swim line, so you check that out as well. So, you know, it's still hot out there. Y'all can get some uh, get some attire to go take a dip, all right? But this week, episode 85, we are talking crypto. I'm telling you, a lot of people don't believe in crypto. There's a lot of non-believers. I used to be one until I got educated. So, <laughs> listen, if you are a non-believer, you will definitely want to stick around for this. I got my man Mason, double OG. Tuning in, kicking it with your boy. He's gonna school us on crypto. All right. He's gonna tell us about what's going on, you know, the state of crypto right now, the futures, and all the components of crypto. And we'll just talk about a couple little things, you know, blockchain, DeFi, all that. This might sound foreign to you, but if you stick around, it won't be any longer. All right. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring my man in and we're gonna get this show on the road. Oh, he's also a gamer too. So we'll talk a little bit about that. All right. Without further ado, here we go. Mason. Mason. Mason, double O-G. Runs on trial. And XRP. Come and join me. Because you know where I be. Mason. Mason. Double O-G. Yo, yo. Yo, 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 double OG, what's happening? What's going on, cool card? I love that <laughs> intro, man. I appreciate it, man. Uh, no doubt. Gotta, gotta, you know, represent you in the right light, my brother. Hey, man, I, I appreciate that, man. I like yours, too. And uh, I definitely gotta watch that, uh, the piggy thing you was talking about. Yeah. That sounds really cool, man. <laughs> man, I'm telling you, listen, van lifers, man, check them out. Look into that. It's, it's like a whole different world. And yeah, like, what intrigued me about it? What intrigued me about it is because, like, I told myself when I get older, I, I want to get me a huge RV and just travel the nation. You know, just ride out, you know what I'm saying, and just see the sights, see different things that you don't see on a regular because what we do, we fly most of the time. You yep. know, if we are driving, we can't really take it in because you're not going to stop in your car, you know, and, and go to, like, uh, campsites and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, yeah, man, but now I saw people like tricking out their vans, like they gut it and make it a home. Oh man, that's dope. And that's dope. Stove, sink, microwave, bed that's fold fold down, and I'm talking about small vans. Now we ain't talking about big, huge campers. Yeah, that that reminds me of like them little tiny homes. You know what I'm saying? People yeah. get the little tiny homes. They got the solar power. You know? Yes. Charging their stuff. That's dope, man. Yeah, that man. is really dope. It's a different side of life. I'm telling you, I was so intrigued. And then I and then I found out she had a pig, a pet pig. I was like, a pet <laughs> pig. Man, but the pigs are so full of life. She told me that they have like the 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 uh the IQ or the mindset of like a three-year-old. Got you. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. That's dope. Yeah. And they, you know, they show so much love like dogs. So I was like, man, that's really cool. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. But listen. Tonight is all about you and crypto, my brother. Hey, man, let's do it. What you, what you want to know? What y'all want to know? Man, I want to know everything, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that will see this and be like, man, what is really, what is crypto really all about? You know, where did it start? How did it start? It, I, the number one question I know that I had when I was kind of a doubter is how does it get value? Because, you know, we grow up and we know about money and gold, on, you know, gold in the dollar and, and the treasury. And, you know, we, we kind of understand how it gets its value. But then you right. got some make believe internet based coin like how does it get its value can can you let's start with yeah. that how so does it get that, its value? that actually is a very good question you know and that that's one of the questions that i struggled with when i first got started too you know when i just like you said when i looked at it, i was like what is this fake you know money <laughs> this bitcoin you know i was like what what is this crap you know <laughs> right and when i first looked at it and, and seen it you know, I was just like, uh, okay, you know, like, what is, what is this? Okay, it's fake money, da, da, da. But to, to answer your question, the way crypto gets value is the belief in the system behind it, just like just like anything else that we've been conditioned to to uh, to use, you know, in, in the world, you know? So, you know, crypto has its own, like, use case, you know? Um, and it's just a belief of a community of people that believe in a project or believe in a system that actually works and is verifiable by going to, you know, the blockchain. You know, I don't want to get too, too deep, but the main thing is like, you know, just everybody coming together saying, hey, this is a monetary policy that we want to agree from a community standpoint and we all agree to use it and we want to give it value, you know? Right. And as long as two people or more believe in something and say okay um you know this this you know this glass or whatever has value then it has value you know and it's no different than how we used to be back in the old days you know where you would um you know somebody would have some cows somebody else would have some pebbles <laughs> and they say hey i'll give you you know 10 pebbles for them cows well you know as long as everybody agrees that 10 pebbles equal a cow now it has value so that's really how, you know, crypto is like the same thing, you know? So it's a really interesting and crazy, but fun space, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and you could definitely make some money too. <laughs> it's just like, listen, I, I'm, I'm no longer a non-believer, but still just to wrap my mind around the value part of it. Right. Like, right. It's still kind of fuzzy, but I'm there. Well, the, the other part of it too is you also want to make sure that the the market is liquid you know for whatever that you're going to give something value to so like if if uh you know let's say if you want to exchange let, we'll just use bitcoin because everybody's pretty much heard about bitcoin we'll just stick with bitcoin for right now okay. um even though that's not uh just my opinion that's not the crypto that's going to be the crypto all right you know what i'm saying like the world you know using that coin Okay. But anyway, we'll just use Bitcoin just as a reference. So, you know, Bitcoin is, you know, at its face, it's the first one to, you know, become like, um, you know, number one in the eyes of the people. You get what I'm saying? Because it's been around the longest. Um, but the thing about Bitcoin, you know, with the mining and stuff like that, you know, it uses up too much electricity. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, man, I want to go deep. I want to go deep. So I, I, I'll stop right there. I'll start right there because I can go deep. deep yeah, deep. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So let, I'll let me you ask go you ahead this. and we'll kind of keep this. track because I'll go, man, I'll go nuts on y'all. Y'all be like, what is he talking about? So listen, just to, so, to clarify, because you mentioned a couple things and I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like, what is that? OK, explain the blockchain. So the blockchain is basically a record. Uh, it's a record of, OK, uh, you know, so-and-so gave money to so-and-so. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, you need to have somebody, you know, normally we have a bank that does that job. You know, it says, okay, um, you know, I'll just say Sally and, you know, Bob or whatever. So Sally is giving money to Bob. So who's going to make that record? Who's going to keep that unit of account? You know, um, you know, you can't just have a regular person in there because then, you got to you got to trust that person. You know, what right. is their motive? Do they know, you know, Sally or Sue or do they know Bob or whatever, you know? Right. So the blockchain is is code, is computer code. So the computer code doesn't care what color you are, doesn't care what nationality you are, doesn't care what your gender is. You know, it doesn't care about any of that. All it knows is you sent X amount of this coin 
and so I deduct this coin from that person, then it goes to the next person. And that is basically what the blockchain is. It's just a record bookkeeping that's managed by computer code. Uh, whether that is mining, which is what uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and stuff is based around, which is you're using up electricity to verify the blockchain, mm. or you have other cryptos that don't use mining, like uh, just for example, like XRP, um, you know, XLM, different different coins like that. They use a different algorithm. They don't use uh, mining to 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 do the transaction so um but yeah that's pretty much what the blockchain is you know at a surface level so as far as when you say mining and it's using electricity mm. literally like plugged in you have these mining yes things that yes pick up and what is the benefit for someone to mine for bitcoin or for ethereum what is their benefit because i know that you so, there's companies that'll send you the machine what is your what's the kickback if you can speak on that or what is the value? yeah 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 so basically the benefit I'll, I'll say okay there's there's two kind of in my eyes there's two parts to that so for just to be clear for a regular person today trying to mine um you know just getting started it's probably not going to be that lucrative but for a business standpoint if you have the capital the reason why you want to mine or the benefit of that is it allows you to secure the network of whatever coin that you're mining. Also, you get rewarded the fees. All, anytime you send a cryptocurrency, whether it's Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Tron, uh, whatever the case may be, just like in my background, this is Tron in the background, mm -hmm. um, you have a fee that's associated with it. So anytime those transactions are going through, there's a fee. Those fees plus the electricity of the mining that you're running the network, you get actually rewarded in that coin as well. Okay. So you're collecting the fees, you're collecting the coin. Uh, you're getting rewarded the coin for solving the, the, uh, the whatever the calculations are for that algorithm. So like, for example, uh, Bitcoin uses SHA-256. So it's basically like a, a, a mining algorithm that crunches code to solve a particular problem. Um, that problem really doesn't really mean anything. It's just, it just means something to the Bitcoin network. Okay. So when you solve that problem, then you get reward. You may get rewarded one Bitcoin. So, you know, current market value of Bitcoin right now is about $39,000 and some change. So like 39800 So if you're a big company and you have, you know, $100,000 worth of mining equipment and electricity and infrastructure, you know, of course, you know, that can... You can scale that up. You know, it can be anywhere between one hundred thousand to five hundred thousand invested. Okay. But if you're earning like one Bitcoin every ten minutes, you know, then there you go. I mean, you're making almost forty thousand uh, dollars. You know, every ten minutes. <laughs> wow. So that's just an example. You know, and there's other blockchains that you know you can you can make uh, you know the same or equal or better amount of money as well. Um, so, it's, yeah. so with that said, with Bitcoin, it's, is it very hard to get into Bitcoin mining since it's so valuable? Right? Yeah, I would I would say, like I said, from a from a regular uh, retail investor standpoint, unless you already have a significant amount of capital um, to scale up very quickly, then I would definitely I wouldn't recommend it. You know, and okay. not not to mention the technical you know aspects of it. Um, you know, Bitcoin got started around 2008, 2009. Uh, the date's not hard set. You know, some people disagree on the date. But anyway, it's anywhere between 2008 and 2010 uh, or, yeah, 2008, 2010. And Bitcoin was the very first coin, very first blockchain. Well, they, they, they claimed that there was probably some other coins that came out. But Bitcoin was like the first actual coin to solve all the problems, like the uh, what they call the double spin problem. So the biggest thing about cryptocurrency uh, that makes it so uh, amazing is typically anything that's digital, you can just copy and paste it. You see what I'm saying? So what Bitcoin solved, you know, being the first coin that that everybody agrees about, there, there's other debates on that, but I don't want to, you know, I got I to gotta pay homage to my crypto people because they're going to be getting on me. So I got to make sure I cover everything. But basically from a typical standpoint, you know, Bitcoin solved the double spin problem, which is, you know, I can't just go take a Bitcoin and then copy and paste it and go make more uh, Bitcoin. 
Got you. Now, you know, a lot of people don't talk about it in Bitcoin. In Bitcoin's early age, there actually was somebody that found a way to print more Bitcoin. Um, but that was at its early stage when it was very weak. It was very, you know, fragile. Okay. Um, but now it, it's, you know, it, it you still have your possibility of like uh, attacks and issues like that. But it would cost a lot of money, basically, uh, in order to do it. Well, who created Bitcoin? Like who is with from this inception? Do you know who created Bitcoin? Do you know? Yeah, the yeah. So the the rumor behind it is that uh you know it's probably uh well the name of it the name of the person or group is satoshi nakamoto okay. um however you know there are rumors going about that you know it could have been you know on some other people that's part of uh you know um another company you know basically um so and uh yeah so <laughs> it's kind of like one of those weird things where you're like you don't really know yeah so that that's really a touchy one but um but yeah but the the normal that's out there in the public it's uh satoshi nakamoto so that could be a person that could be a group or just an alias name that somebody just made up or or it could be a government i mean who, who knows <laughs> right 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 yeah real quick uh do you Okay, I have to say this. I start all my shows off with a prayer. Okay. Are you against that? No, 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 go ahead. I got to give it up to the man. So before we get any deeper, let me let me lead us in prayer real quick. All right, cool. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. All right. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we just thank you for this time. We thank you for this moment. We thank you for the knowledge that Mason Double OG brings. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we just thank you for his presence and his time. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, and his willingness to come on the show. And bless everybody, help me follow Jesus with his value and his knowledge. We just thank you for waking up this morning. We thank you for giving us life. We thank you for giving us bread. We just pray and ask you continue blessing us, loving us, guiding us, lifting us up, shining your light down on us, and just blessing us, keeping us safe, sound, whole, healthy, humble, happy, and healed. Lord Jesus, we just give you all the victory, all the glory, all the love, and all the praise. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. That was outstanding. Yes, Appreciate sir. it. Sir, gotta do that, man. Oh uh, yeah, for sure, man. Got to, man. It's just it's good to be here. You know, it's good to be good to be blessed, man. So appreciate that. Absolutely. This this, this uh meeting is anointed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, but yeah, I mean, crypto is amazing. I mean, um, so what what else you got? What anything well, else what, you want to know? Well, what would you say to someone who's a non-believer who's kind of on the verge of like wanting to get into it, but just don't really know? They don't want to risk their money. And I know you can't talk about risk because it's just anything's a risk. Just like yeah, that, yeah. Like that, but no, no, that's cool. Um, so what I would say, I, I, I'll do this. I'll do this. The, the the best way I can answer that is through my own experience and, and okay. sharing my story with you. So okay. when I first heard about Bitcoin, it was in 2012, you know, and um, and I was, you know, doing some stuff and, you know, doing my thing. And somebody approached me and was like, hey, you know about Bitcoin? I'm like, nah, I don't know what that is. You know, what is that? Right. So they tried to explain it to me. Of course, you know, this was in 2012. So a lot of the information that we have now obviously wasn't available. But, you know, the so I so he told me about it and I listened, you know, but I didn't really understand it. So I went home. I did like a 10 minute, you know, look up, you know, just trying to see, OK, let me see what this is. And the first thing I saw was it was about crime. You know, I you know, I don't know. Did you ever hear about Silk Road? Yeah, hear, dark web. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So at the time, Bitcoin was like Silk Road. So it was all about, you know, buying drugs, you know, uh, you know, buying guns, you know, doing just illegal stuff, basically. All that craziness. And I was just like, nah. I was like, nah, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, I'm not trying to go to jail. This is crazy. I'm not doing none of this. Right. And I kid you not, I think around 2012, if I can remember correctly, I'm not looking at a chart. So for you Bitcoiners out there that want to flame me, whatever. But I think it was like around, um, I want to say it was like around a hundred bucks. It, it, it might have been more, but it just for some reason in my mind, I think it was like a hundred bucks or something. Mm. So I don't remember the time frame. It might have been like a crash or whatever, but I don't know. Uh, maybe 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 a hundred to five hundred, something like that. But anyway, so Bitcoin was like let's just say a hundred to five hundred dollars, and I looked at it and I was like, well, first of all, I don't want to be associated with with illegal stuff. So I was like, nah. But then I was like, well, if I did want to buy it. I could probably put in, you know, maybe a thousand dollars. So maybe I could have got two if it was five hundred, right. you know. And you, you know, you could do the math. If it was a hundred, yeah. and uh, but I look back on that decision, that one decision right there, 
And now today, you know, at the peak when Bitcoin hit sixty four thousand dollars, yeah, you know, or sixty thousand, whatever it was, and I'm just like, God <laughs> damn. <laughs> So, so with yeah. that being said, though, it was it was one of those, and I mean, I, I'll even take it back further than that. I mean, um, you know, or, or, you know, like in 2017 when Bitcoin actually hit twenty thousand, that was my wake up call. You know, that was my wake up call, and I was like, okay, you know, I need to just you know not be scared. Yeah, I need to not be intimidated, and I need to do my own research. You know, do my own research. Uh, you know, watch, you know, we have what's called the internet, you know? Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing that people need to understand is you can go out and you can look it up, you know, look it up. You can watch videos, um, you know, especially nowadays you can find stuff. Um, I actually have my own website, crypto 0 G.com. You can go there. Uh, that, that's cool with me putting it out there. Yeah. Um, you can go there, you can check on my website. I have a few training videos out there. Um, and you can just learn stuff and you can, you know, you can shoot me an email if you got any questions, you know, yeah. I'll try to help you out. Um, but you know, so, so that's what I would say for somebody who's new is just give it a chance, you know, start out small. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor, none, none of that, you know, I'm just down on the YouTube, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but you know, it's very important. I'll say that, but you know, just do your research. You know, the crypto community is is very fun. We're we're very willing, you know, willing to help. Um, you know, and we enjoy uh, educating other like new people. You know, bringing them in. So, just so they can understand it. The right. other thing that people need to realize about crypto is we are moving into the internet of value. Okay, so you have to in order to understand your 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 present. And your future, you have to look into the past, right? So if you look into the past, you know, I, I don't know how old your viewers are, but if you remember like 19, let's say 1995 to early uh, 2000, when the internet first started really starting to catch up, like the, the dot-com boom, you remember that? Yeah. So when you, when you look at the dot-com boom, and you think of, okay, all these different companies, you know, this big, big old hype, you know, they were talking about the internet, you know, and stuff like that. Now, it did burst, you know, the bubble did burst, you know, so they, they, they say the dot-com bubble burst. Yeah. But out of that burst came a lot of different companies that actually changed the world today, you know. So you have Google, you know, um, you know, you have, now you have Amazon, you know, where Amazon just used to do books, you know. Oh. So nobody knew that the internet was going to be able to allow people to buy anything they wanted over the internet and get it within a day or two. You know, that's what is possible now today. Um, nobody foresaw that we were going to be able to get, uh, you know, video streamed to our home. That's Netflix and any other streaming apps that we have today. So this is the, you know, that was the internet of, of, of information, of data. Now we're moving into the internet of money. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That yeah. is what crypto is now uh, allowing to happen. So you can only imagine, you know, five to 10, maybe 15 years from now, there's going to be some app that we don't even know of yet. Yeah. That hasn't even been created yet. That is going to spawn out of these cryptos, right? Yeah. And it's going to be the greatest transfer of wealth that we have ever had in the history of humankind. Yeah. Let me say that one more time. In the history of humankind, of our species on the planet, that no one, that, so, that no man can marginalize. Either. Exactly. No man can marginalize. You have no idea how huge this is going to be. So I'm, I, I got my boat. I'm in my boat. I'm on the ocean. <laughs> I'm waiting for the wave to come. You get what I'm saying? So right. you know. So we want everybody to get on the boat, just like you said the prayer. You know, um, who was that? Moses, right? Mo yep. Mo it was it Moses? Like Noah. Getting it right? Noah. Yeah, Noah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Noah. My bad. Forgive me. <laughs> but Noah was like, get on the boat, right? Isn't that what he said? Yep. He said, get on the boat. Get on the boat. So, you know, we build the ark. We're getting on the boat. This this money is about to start flowing, okay? So, um, and that's what crypto is, you know, you know, you know, you, it's, it's just amazing. It, it's really amazing. Um, you know, and again, I'm not trying to, I mean, I'm not here to sell anything to you or nothing like oh, that. 
Sure. It's just, it's all information. It's all new technology. Yeah. And th the biggest thing that people need to understand, if you don't understand something, then you fear it. And if you fear it, you, you, you end up, you know, taking away your blessings. You know what I'm saying? So you want to kind of be open to it, you know? Um, so yeah, but I, I can keep going, but you know, I want to make would sure you say, we cover as much. Would you say that a, a, a website that's, a, that's US based, like, Coinbase would be kind of like a good starting ground for someone who's just uh, most definitely. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Coinbase would be a, a good a good start because they are uh, regulated. Uh, that's another thing that what people would like to hear. This is a regulated market. Um, you know, it's not as regulated as people would like it to be. Right. But that's because it's still in development. But Coinbase itself is regulated. Um, so that's definitely a safe, you know, the you know one of the safest places you can start out. Uh, you know, set you up a Coinbase account. It's just like you go to a, you know, go to a bank, you know, like yeah. like a, you know Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Chase, you know, Fidelity, whatever, and you set up an account. You set up an account. You put your money in. You wait. Do all your little processing. And then you just go buy something, you know, yeah. just buy it, you know. And they got a lot of and tutorials on there. They got a lot of exactly. They got tutorials you and buy, everything. They'll even give you a couple coins to get you started, you know. Exactly. Like yep. Yep. They got coins on there. You can you go like you said. You can watch the videos. They'll kind of educate you so you can start to learn. So you know, go at your own pace. You know that that's the best way to do it. But you know what I recommend or or just suggest. It's just get a small amount. Get a small amount. You know, not, you know, don't put your mortgage in there. Don't, don't put your don't put your baby's formula money in there. You know, right? right. <laughs> you know, just just put you know a, a comfortable amount instead of going to Burger King or buying some shoes or a video game. Just you know, and we'll talk about video games. But you know, just put your you know just put a little bit in there and just and just see what happens. So yeah, yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And you got to understand, too, everybody, that this is in its infancy stage. Yep. And it's only looking up. It's only looking up. So I, that's and that brings me to asking you about decentralized banking. And I know Ethereum, that blockchain is, like, really big on it. It's really, like, pushing forward with it. It has a lot of coins, yep. like, sub coins or whatever, secondary coins that it's dropping that support that. Can you speak to that a little bit? Oh yeah, most definitely. So, um, so yeah, exactly what uh, what Cool Car said. Um, what we call it in in the crypto world, we call it DeFi, which is decentralized finance. But basically, the same thing you said, just in a different way. Um, so the way the 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 blockchains work is you have your primary uh, network. Uh, in this case, like he said, you have Ethereum. Um, you also have other blockchains like Tron. You have Tron Network. You also have another blockchain called Binance Chain, uh, Binance Smart Chain, uh, which is another one. And on each one of these, you have, um, they would be like your native primary coin. And then you have other side projects that release out on those blockchains. And they offer different products and services. So, you know, you could, like, for example, you could stake or pull your money with other, pull your money with other people, excuse me, and you can uh, earn uh, an interest rate, you know. So sometimes you can earn anywhere between 10%. Sometimes you can earn 100%. Uh, sometimes you can earn up to 5,000%, you know, wow. believe it or not. Uh, and, I, and we're talking APR, not APY. Wow. So, you know, and so, you know. But, of course, you know, with the higher interest rate, you do have to be careful because, you know, there's a little bit higher risk. But, I mean, if that's what you want, they're out there. Um, you also have other blockchains where you can actually do uh, casino type stuff, you know, like play poker and uh, things like that. Um, you have some blockchains where you can play video games, you know, and you can actually earn uh, passive income. Um, there's one that I'm in right now where you can actually earn virtual real estate and you can, you know, so instead of going out here in the real world, you know, uh, buying land and then you got to, you know, work it. You got to build the house. You know, you got to put all that sweat equity in. I can just go on my computer and click a few buttons, build the property, and then I can go rent it out and start making property the next, uh, start making property the next day. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yo, what? Yeah. Yeah. Uh yeah. Like, wait, hold on. I mean, you, wait, wait, you, wait, wait, um, wait, 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 I mean, wait. I don't, I don't know if you want to do it here, but did you? Are you able to show your screen and bring it up, or? 
or or do you hey. wanna or you wanna wait on that? No, we'll wait on that, man. That's good. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give you the link, and you can share your viewers the link. I'll put the link that way they can check it out. Yeah, definitely put the yeah. Send me that link. I'll put it in the description. But hold on, man. Back back up. <laughs> we're, we're not talking about Sims here. Like, yeah, it, yes. So we you are can talking rent about virtual real life Sims. Yes. But I mean, you rent it out to who, and what do they do with it? It's other people that that have properties just like you, and they want to they want to produce. It's a full economy behind it. So, like for example, I'll have a property or a product. Let's say I have a a glass uh, making plant, right? So my glass making plant it has is it, it has like influence uh, across the the community, and so that brings me in a certain amount of income. Not to mention that, but I'm also producing the glass that other people need to build their property. So wait, I wait, 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 man. Hold on. Hold on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Hold on, man. I this know, is man. blowing my I know. mind. It's Hold crazy. on. It's You're crazy. telling me. <laughs> man, I'm telling wait, you. Look, no. look, let me tell you something. Every time I drive by, now listen, listen to this. Every time when I'm when I'm just out driving. And I'm seeing people, and don't get me wrong, that's you know that's tangible, real stuff. So I get that, yeah. right? But there's people out there, you know, building stuff, construction, and all that stuff. And I'm just looking at that, I'm like, man, they're not gonna make no money for like at least six months to a year because they gotta build it, right? I can go in my house and click on a property, it'd be done within two to three minutes, and then I can rent it out and start making money right, right there. But we're talking about like real actual money. We're talking real cash money. Out man. We ain't talking about no monopoly money. It's real money. I'm still, yo, this, this is real money. This bro. is not. This is not <laughs> registered in my brain yeah, right now. How this in the world? Is the, this <laughs> is the internet of value. This is what we're talking about. Brown blown and right now, man. People don't know about this stuff. People don't know about this stuff. Listen, this is what I'm listen, about. hey, listen. Send me the link. We gotta talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got you. I got you. Um, this, this is strange, man. I'm blown, I know, bro. I know. Hey, let, let's check something. I know you go. You gonna be stuck on there all night. All Yo, right, my all head right. is hurting right now, man. I'm so serious. <laughs> all right, so look. Let me tell you. Let me tell you another example <laughs> why this is so amazing as far as uh, how it's going to change the world. So. Now, of course, probably most of us uh, here listening or whatever the case may be, we probably weren't alive back back at this time. But back in the day, I'll probably say maybe like the 1900s, maybe even 1800s, shipping. Think about it. When they used to ship products, you know, spices, cattle, whatever, they just threw them on the ship and then they just, you know, get them on the ship, unload it. And then, you know, everybody do what they got to do. Well, guess what? Every different country, every different city, country, you know, um, you know, uh, what is what is the other word? Well, anyway, every different country, what'd you say? Nation. Yeah, na exactly. Nation. Every different country, nation had their own system of how they would package and ship stuff, right? Well, eventually, they the 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 world powers that be, you know, the governments, they all came together and said, "Look, hold up, hold up, this is so unorganized." You know, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Brazil's doing this, America's doing this, you know, China's doing this. Like, this is crazy. So what they did was they agreed to a certain uh, standard. You know, it's called ISO. I don't I don't know the number. But it's like you can look it up, you know, shipping container ISO standard. I've seen just that. Look that up. Just Google, yeah. And so when they made that standard, they came up with the shipping container design, right? So it's just a you know big rectangle, you know, metal box basically, and it has certain hooks on it, which then allows you to load everything into you know package everything into the container. Then it allows you to uh, use cranes and. You know, and then you can take that crane, load it up, and drop it right onto a truck and go, right? right? So imagine how that changed the world today, right? Yeah. So that's how Amazon is able to ship you stuff from China, you know, or other countries, and they get here within five or ten days. Right, right. So, so what they're doing now is they're coming to a global standard of money. Let me pause that for a second. Let that sink in for a second. 
a global standard. We are coming to a global standard of money, the way money can be moved and transferred around the world. Enter in XRP. So that is what is going to be the standard. Okay. So you're saying um, XRP is going to be like the the the, the XRP, XRP, XLM, XDC. Yeah. Yeah. That oh. that is the consensus. I'll just say that is the that is the consensus right now. Um that well, the Ripple you know, blockchain. Yeah, the rip yeah, rip well the company well so XRP is the actual blockchain. Okay. Ripple is the actual company. Okay, gotcha. Just gotcha. just the company that's, you know, basically, you know, designing and, and implementing, you know, RippleNet, uh, XRPL, stuff like that. Right. Um, but yeah, that basically we're trying, you know, the 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 world is trying to get to a global consensus standard on how money is gonna be moved. So like for example, if you want to send money to somebody overseas, it's particularly overseas. We're not talking about just in inside the, a country where, of course, you got Cash App, you got PayPal, you got all that stuff. We're not right. talking about that. We're talking about like if somebody wants to send somebody money from one checking account to another or a money order and they're taking, you know, 10, 15, 30 percent fees. Yeah. And then it's taking five, you know, five or 10 days to That's settle more. You know what I'm saying? Or, or money is getting lost. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what the potential of what crypto is going to bring to the world, the new global world, the new the new system, the new financial system. So this is why you need to get educated on crypto. It, it is imperative. Great. It is imperative that you get educated. I'm still stuck on the virtual real estate. I knew, I knew, I knew you were. <laughs> <laughs> listen, Ain't yo, listen hold on. Ain't nobody else listening to me now. I lost all credibility. Don't believe me. Hold on. Don't no, no, no. I, no, I, I believe you. Me. Trust me. When you, nah, when nah, you, nah, I'm joking. I'm when joking. you speak, I believe it. I'm just trying to wrap my <laughs> mind around it. So listen, hold on. Give well, me a I mean, website. Okay, okay. Put it. Think about it this way. I know you heard about NBA Top Shot. You you a sports yeah. guy, right? Yeah, the okay. FTC. Yeah, the, uh, so it's FTC. it's really no different than than NBA Top Shot. And then let me explain why. So NBA Top Shot, it has value because people like what? collectors. Items. Players, oh, it's exactly. It's a collector's okay. item, and it yeah. has your what? Your favorite player, right? So people so, are really going on there, and they just they love this house so much that they want to buy it, and you yes, get money. For there's it. different buildings, there's different designs, and they're getting to the point where it's going to be like almost like Fortnite, or it's going to be like Grand Theft Auto. Like if you ever play Grand Theft Auto Five. Grand Theft Auto Five is like a living virtual city, a virtual world, yeah, right? Yeah. And you can own you can own your property. You can invite people to your apartment. So you know this is all still in development. So you know now it may not. It, it's obviously not at Grand Theft Auto Five level yet. Right, right. But the point is, it's good enough to where people can enjoy themselves and make money while they're doing it. So and on. this is only going to scale and grow over time. Give me the website. I'm about to share the screen. I got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, it's called uh play. Hold play. On. Well, you can just go to let me see. Play. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Let me let me give it an easier one. Yeah. Uh type in MCP MCP Town. MCP. Well, here, I'll I'll just send it to you. Hold on. Can I just send it to you? MCP Town. Hold on, I'm gonna Google search it. It'll probably come up. MCP Town, you said? Yeah, M MCP dot town. Hold on, let me see. MC, I see MP, mpccity.com. Uh, that's not it. NPC, NPC. Hold on, let me let me try it. Hold on. M, you said MPC, right? NPC town. NPC Townsville. Let's see. Hold on. All right, you sent it to me. Hold on. Let's see. Let me see what we got going on here. Yeah, MCP. MCP. There you go. I think, I think you're back now. All uh, right. MCP.town. And you uh, sent it to me through Skype? Or slash the game. Yeah, I just sent it to you. Why is this thing not? Hold on. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, I'll put it in the chat for you. I don't want to lose you by clicking into that chat, though. That's the thing. Hold on. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Hold on. Just give it to me. MPC. Yeah, yeah. M M uh, I'm sorry. MCP. MC dot, yeah, MCP dot town forward slash game. Gain? Like G A I G Game. No, G A M E. Game. Okay. Like video game. Okay. I'm going there now. Yeah. I'm gonna share the screen. Hold on. This is okay. crazy. This is blowing my mind. Okay. You're probably not gonna be able to see it when I share it though. Cause you, no, no, it's fine. But you can guide me through it. Hold on, I'm gonna Yeah. Share. Now you do you do have to, you know, you do have to be in your well, you you can click on open, but for you to see everything, you you know you have to be jacked into the to the blockchain, you know, like the matrix. You got to jack into the oh, matrix. Oh, got um, you. But you you jack in with your with your with your Tron network address, so you got to have your you got to have your Tron link, uh, you know. Okay. Uh, so to see everything, but you can go ahead and click open. Go to go to the Tron. All right, hold on. Let you'll me see where it says Tron, and then hit open. Hold on, let me share the screen real quick for everybody. Yeah, no problem. Yep. Did it share? Yep, it did share. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. All right. I yeah. So yeah. So you can hit open without you. You can do it without. You should be able to do it without being logged in. That way you don't have to do all that. Okay. And then you can you can see the whole city and everything. Let me see. Let's check this out, y'all. This is some new age. This is some. This is just different. <laughs> it says zero percent loading right now yeah 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 you gotta give it time you okay. gotta give it time but yeah there's people on here that i've seen um you know based on what they got going on bringing in over five to ten thousand dollars a month are you serious i'm dead serious what? like how so so, of, so when people look at this they're gonna be like ah you know but now nah, this this is for real people people can people are living off this stuff Man, this is crazy. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it's crazy. It's loading, y'all. This, this is just, a, this we is got... just a scratch of the surface, man. This ain't even this ain't even nothing deep. This is just a game. This, this, is, this is a straight crazy. game. Like this isn't even DeFi. Like this is like so like so let me go back into what I was talking about with the NFT. So the way these the way these properties are set up, they're basically virtual NFTs. Um, just like you would be for Top Shot, but they're actually gamified. So, like for example, you know how when you buy a Top Shot, you know, collectible, you know, you get a video of them doing their thing, you know, whatever, and you get a picture. I'm not trying to discredit or downplay Top Shot, but that's pretty much it, right? Well, in this, you actually get the the property, and you can actually do things with it. You know, like you can upgrade your property, you can sell your property, you can rent it out. You can say how many months, you know, you want to rent it out. You can do all those kind of things. Okay. That's yeah. crazy. Hold on, Ricardo. I got to get my dog out of here. Go. Yeah, I'm, yeah. No problem. No problem. Outside. Go. Outside. Go ahead. Leave him out there, too. Yes, yeah, let him. Get that dog out of here. <laughs> he was sleeping and woke up trying to get out. Oh, no worries. So, all right. So, let's check this out, man. This is crazy. You you got it. Is it loaded? Yeah, it's up. It's showing me the town and everything. So it says, please unlock your Tron. Hold on, let me see. It says, please unlock your Tron digital wallet to start the game. Wow. So basically, so, okay, I got my Tron wallet. So I can just basically open this up. If I got my, my um, what is it called? The uh, a Google Chrome extension up and it's open. Right. Then I can just log in. Yeah. But don't don't do that part right now. No no no, I'm not, no no I'm not gonna do that now. Yeah That's yeah, good. but but just do just hit. You should just be able to hit open. I mean I think it'll work. Like I said, I, I normally have my you know I'm normally it's logged open. in. It's open. It's showing me. The so thing. so you see the city? Yeah. Oh okay cool cool. All right then you good? Yeah. This is crazy. So yeah so this <laughs> is just one of many uh, opportunities that are out here. You know you could sit here and and dive into this. And become like a conglomerate. Like you can own, you know, how many properties you want, you know? You know, like I got a decent amount of land properties, you know, that I own. You know, I got some buildings on there. 
I got some that's written out, you know, people are uh, going on <laughs> vacation on my property, you know. I mean, you know, they 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 you know they they roll up to the yeah. house with their car, you know, on top, Dude. you know what I'm saying? Oh my <laughs> and, god, and are you serious? They pay me, yeah. Yo, this is old. I'm telling you. Yeah, this is called this is called Mega Cryptopolis 3D. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, this this has been out for like two or three years now. And people are on here straight up makeup. So it's all about your mind. So whatever you, of course, you got to spend some Tron, I'm sure. Correct. To, correct. to build. Yeah. So you got to so, so, into it. Right. So the way it works is it's on two blockchains. It's on Ethereum and it's on Tron. Now, what they did was they teamed up with uh, uh, Matic, a.k.a. Polygon. It's, a, it's, a, it's another sidechain blockchain just to reduce the fees to make it a little bit faster and a little bit cheaper for people to interact with okay. on Ethereum and Tron. Um, and so the way it works is like you have so many different things that you can do, but basically the way it works is you have, uh, you have a district. Everybody has like their own, you know, particular tax that the district lays out. Mm -hmm. And then you earn, uh, you know, Tron based on your influence, based on your production and based on your uh, effect on the community, you know, like what you're building and stuff like that. So if you're bringing value to your district, you get compensated for that. You see what I'm saying? And if somebody who's new and they don't have all the infrastructure laid out, then they can rent a building from you. They can rent stuff from you <laughs> until they get to where they need to be. So it's just like the real economy. Does it take it's a lot like of real life? Does it take a lot of trying to get going? No, not really. No, not really. Mm -mm. We talk. Yeah, yeah, we we would have to we would have to talk offline. I don't want to take up the whole you know. The no, whole no, I get it. I get it. No, but this is but listen. But, no, this is this is a lot of value. Yeah, yeah. Because people need okay. to understand. Yeah. How big this this crypto thing really is and how yeah, real it is. Huge. Because I'm yeah, telling you, huge. listen, you just blew my mind. So imagine somebody watching. It has yeah. no has no idea has yeah, no knowledge about crypto. They might be sitting here looking at you like you're crazy as hell. But well, I, I'm I here to tell you, series, my bad, I mean to cut you off, but I actually have a series on my YouTube channel, uh, just going over this. So if people want to check it out, so it's a little bit older, but but you can watch me as I was doing it, Drop your and channel. I still do it from time to time, just playing around on it. Drop your channel, um, but yeah, yeah, it's on my YouTube channel. You can check it out. I got a series on it. Uh, me and my me and my homie, we was doing it. Wow, I got the link to your YouTube in the in the uh, description. Okay, okay so All right, anybody want to learn about this? Hit that link. I'm gonna learn about this. And I tell oh, yeah. what I'm saying is like this is so much value, and this is what people need to know about so they can really understand that this is not going anywhere. You know, no, they might just think it's all about a coin, but man, there's these NFTs. You know, the NBA Top Shot stuff. Like, this is all digital stuff, and it it's it, like when nfts came about i was still i was a doubter i was a doubter even mm -hmm. though i believed in crypto i was still a doubter i'm like you mean to tell me somebody's taking a gif and they're selling it for thousands of dollars that's yep, basically I know. what it I is know, right yep yep that's basically what it is that's but what it, it is somebody that's wants what it is. somebody sees that sees value in it and they want to be the only owner because that's the thing about nfts you are the only owner you yep. cannot duplicate it yo this is this is this whole I know, real it's, it's thing? mind blowing, isn't it? I know. I definitely and, and, need and you know, and you got people thing. going out, you know, and I'm not, you know, I'm one of the people, you know, but you got people, we gotta go out, we gotta wake up early in the morning, we gotta go to work, we gotta do this. And then you got some people who's all day just sitting at the computer, uh building property and and just raking in the dough, just raking it in. They they ain't even gotta leave their house. <laughs> building <laughs> virtual house. property. Come on, man. Crazy, man. This is wild. Purchase your property, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Come on, man. Yep. Yep. So, um, wow. man, it's just, oh my goodness, man. This is And there's there's so many other projects too. Like I said, I I I I don't want to try to go into all of them because nah, don't go into I, I won't be able to I won't be able to do all of them justice. You know so, what I'm saying? So just, show. Okay, speak about DAPs. Speak about DAPs. Can you speak about Okay, that? yeah, yeah. That's that's a good point. All right. So you have DAPs. Okay, so very I'm glad you said that. Um so you have DAPs. DAPs are what you call decentralized applications. So uh if you think about it, uh just like how you have apps on your phone, you know, like on Android 
or uh, iPhone, stuff like that, you have dApps which are on the blockchain, which are basically smart contracts. And all smart contracts me, are they quick, just real quick, real quick. Let me cut you off. I'm sorry. Explain no, to them how the blockchain, so so you can simplify it. The blockchain is really like the operating system, like iOS, Windows, right, or, right. And then the exactly. DAP is your app. That exactly. You, um, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. So so each thank you. So each blockchain is like an operating system. So just like how you have Microsoft, um, you got uh, you know uh, Apple, you got Google, you know you got Google Chrome, uh, you know Chromebook, whatever it's got its own operating system. It's the same thing. So Bitcoin is its own operating system. Tron is its own operating system. Ethereum, so on and so forth. You get the point. Yeah. So on those operating systems, you have what's called DApps. Those DApps are applications that run on those op operating systems. Now. Um, each DAP could be a different type of DAP. So you could have a finance DAP or you could have a game DAP, which is what this one is. This is finance slash game. Yeah. So, you know, uh, you know, some people are even calling game fine. You know, it, it's not something that typically I use, but I have heard it and read it before. So typically what game fine is, it's a, it's a combination between DAPs and NFTs. Okay. okay? Merged together. So that and that's what this is. So this is uh, finance because you're able to make money, but it's got a game aspect on top of it or NFTs that allow you to be the only owner of so many properties. So so to give you the uh, just to get back into this real quick, this has uh, districts or regions uh, on this map. So if you if you look at the bottom, you know, on, on your on your map, you have different districts or regions. Okay. Now. On those districts, you have a you, know, you have a, a limited amount of land plots, right? So eventually, what's going to happen, you know, as this game continues, you continues on, two years down the road, five years down the road, you know, you know, knock on wood, you know, hoping that it lasts or you know nothing happens, you know, I, I don't have a crystal ball, but assuming that it's here five, ten years down the road, and and it grows and evolves and gets better and better, there's only still a finite amount of land plots. So eventually, all the land plots will be bought up. And that means what? The value goes up because other people want to buy land plots and they can't because everybody's already bought the land. And so that's yeah. where value comes from, too, because people want to get in and they can't. So in order for them to get in, you got to buy somebody else's land or buy somebody else's building or you got to rent it out. So that's what, uh, you know, that's what it goes into. But anyway, so, but getting back into the dApps. So you have, you it's have blown. casino dApps. Oh, go ahead. What you I was just saying, my mind is blown. Right. <laughs> you have casino dApps. You have game dApps. You have uh, social media dApps. I mean, we got new uh, social media uh, blockchain dApps that are coming out uh, or have been so, out. So like Instagram. Um, yeah, yeah. We're going to have, yeah. We're going to have a dap, you know, eventually one that's actually going to. So you, you've had one that uh, steam that was one uh, steam. It, I think was called. Um, but I don't, I don't really know where it's at right now. That's just, that's just the first thing popped in my head. Um, there's another one called, uh, what is it? Uh, I'm trying to remember it. Uh, I can't really remember right now, but, but anyway, there's, you know, it's still, they're still in their infancy, but the, the main thing around it is, you know, the, the money that you make goes directly to you. So like all the advertising, all that stuff will go directly to you as a content creator. It won't go through YouTube's hands or Facebook's hands, you know, that owns Instagram. Okay. You Got see you. what I'm saying? Got the you. money will come directly to you. Okay. So that's the beauty of these dApps uh, that are built around finance. Um, yeah. So there's, and there's a whole bunch of other different dApps that you can do, you know, like uh, 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 profit yielding, you know, staking, staking just means you're sitting your coins somewhere and you earn more of those coins. So you earn a, uh, a percentage yield. And then if we have a term that's called farming, uh, we have another term that's called pooling. Um, you know, so basically you just pull your money with other people and then you get compensated based on your, uh, your, uh, a portion that you bring into the pool. So from, like for from example, the earnings, say, right. From like the interest of the earnings, correct? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So like let's say let's say like it's just like if you want to buy a house and you say, Okay, I'm gonna bring ten people together, 
we're gonna buy a house, you know, that's worth a hundred thousand. You know, I'm, I'm not doing all the math, but let's say somebody puts in twenty thousand, somebody puts in a dollar, somebody <laughs> puts in, you know, twenty five thousand. Well, you'll get, you know, and then you sell that home for let's say two hundred thousand. Well, everybody's gonna get compensated based on what you initially put in. Right. And that's going to be, you know, so if you put in a dollar, you may get two dollars back, right. you know, because you didn't put in that much. So you get you get what you put in, you know, you get out of it what you put in. Um, so those are the different type of things that we have, um, you know, in the crypto space. And it's only getting better and better. We have something that that's coming out for the that's going to be working with the XRP ledger called Flare Network. Um, that should be coming out probably within, um, you know, a couple months, maybe like September, November uh september october november somewhere sometime around there we don't know for sure the exact date um that's going to be really interesting and there's just so many different things there's another coin on the xrp ledger that's called uh uh what is it um uh what is it uh, uh csc sorry uh casino coin so i believe it's like one of the first registered uh casino tokens on in, in crypto and that's that's on the xrp ledger so eventually we may we may see a global crypto lottery globally oh my god so you know how like you have in you know like in in countries uh uh states, states in the united yeah. states or you know you have your own lottery yeah but, but they're only like you know in that state or whatever this might we can have a wide. global global crypto lottery this is crazy <laughs> like win one trillion dollars <laughs> So, you know, so this, break, I mean, break something down limit. for me though, for the people for the people who who don't know anything about this, and they hear about you know they, they hear you talking about you earning money and dividends, yeah. right? Yeah. How do you pull it out? How do you get your money? Well, okay, so you have different things. You have Coinbase, like I said, you could you can connect your bank account and pull it out. Uh, I'm not a tax advisor, so you do yeah. need to make sure you do your taxes, you know, appropriately. Um, you know, so you need to reach out to a tax advisor or something like that, but you know, just pay your taxes, you know, best thing yeah. to do, I just say, you know, say, uh, you know, if you, if you make a certain amount of money, just take 30% out of it, you know, or something like that, you know, just to yeah. give you a, 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 a guesstimate and then just pay your taxes. That's going to be, because you know? that's going to be labeled as a capital gain, right? Yeah, pro probably so. But I mean, I'm not a tax advisor, so I can't really speak fully on that. Okay. But basically what you want to do is, or, or the few things that you can do, you can use a you can get a set up a BitPay account and they, and they have a debit card, a MasterCard. And you can use that, put your crypto on it, and then you just trade your crypto for uh, USD when you want to use it. And then you can just go shopping. So that's one way that you can turn your crypto back into actual you know, real money. So you can like go get food and pay bills or whatever. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's how you do it. And like I said, um, Coinbase has a card that's coming out too. Um, there's a lot of different crypto cards now. Yeah. Um, like I think you got one, uh, I never used it, but crypto.com, I think they have a card, uh, I think it's called a MCO card or something like that, but I never used it. So I don't want to speak too much on that. Coinbase. I, don't, I don't like the oh, speak too much on stuff I haven't used. I got oh, you the other day. Huh, what'd you say? Coinbase just got their, they just launched their card. I got oh, they did? Okay, they, yeah, I, I, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. So, so you got, so I would just stick with Coinbase and BitPay. Um, those are the two that I know that are legit, like legit, legit, like no issues, like regulated, like boom, you, you, you're you good. So BitPay is one, uh, B-I-T-Pay uh, dot com. Check that out. Set up an account. Do what you got to do. You know, get your card um, and, you know, they have a support system or you can you can check out YouTube videos. Uh, if anybody wants to hit me up and need some help with that, maybe I can set up a you know do a video or a training, okay. you know stuff like that. I can do one on one trainings or class trainings too. So if anybody is interested on that, we can uh, you know we can try to set something up like that. Um, and then uh, and then so you have three ways. You have your BitPay card, you have your Coinbase card, where you can actively just convert your crypto into cash when you're using it. Or you can just connect your bank account, whoever you bank with, and then you can just sell the crypto right on Coinbase into cash and then send that cash uh, to your bank account. So it is it is real. It is it is, this is not play play. Like, trust but, me, people aren't, people aren't out here just on Monopoly money buying houses and stuff and, and Lambos. Like, it's real money. So what about people who are kind of skeptical about 
uh, their money being insured because they know nothing about this. Uh, trust well, money into it. So, yes, yeah, that's true. So the the only the only place that, that I know for sure, uh, I'm about ninety percent sure, is Coinbase. Coinbase is FDI insured. Now, once you leave Coinbase and you go into things like <laughs> like this, yeah, and other things, remember. We are at the infancy of this new market, this new uh, internet of value. So there are risks. I mean, I'm, I'm not sugarcoating nothing. Yeah. If you are risk averse, then you do not need to be in crypto. Period. Wait until wait until everybody's on it. Wait until your grandma, your granddad already know how to use it. Then you get on crypto. <laughs> yeah. But but if you like me and and Cool Card and and other people that's out here. We want to know how this works now. So yep. when the when the new world comes and everybody's on it, we are already set. We already, we already set. know how to do all this stuff. We're not like, oh, how do I, how do I? No, nah, we ain't got time for that. We we fast that. So that's where you want to be. So, you know, I, the way I look at crypto and, uh, you know, myself and cool, you know, we're not here to sell anybody on anything. But the, the thing that you want to look at is you want to understand that, just like you pay to go to school, right? We, we all paid to go to school or we all paid to get some kind of education, right? You know, whether you pay that with money or you pay that with your time or just bumping your head, learning it through through the hard knocks of life, right? Right. So that's that's what crypto is. You 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 got to you got to pay to learn, basically, you know, you got to get in it to learn it. You know, you're not going to learn it by just watching YouTube videos, but then never do anything. That's the yeah. key. You know, you, you have to take action and do something, whether that's, you know, buying $10 of Bitcoin and then just, you know, monitoring it and just seeing what's going on, you know, watching your $10 turn into $100 in like two days, you know, that is going to do something to your mind. Like, you're going to be like, wait a minute, I put $10 in. I'm just giving an example. It could be any crypto. Yeah. You know, I just use Bitcoin as an example, but you could literally, you know, depending on the time that you do it, I mean, it's not always guaranteed. But depending on the time that you do it, you know, you can put $10 in on any crypto and it could potentially turn into a hundred dollars yeah. within two to three days in your, in your, while you're looking at it. And you know, the you cool realize that it psychologically, that just does something to you. You know, the cool thing that I like about it is that if you buy, you buy into a coin and then you really don't see any movement or you don't really believe in it, but it really hasn't lost any value. You can just convert it to another coin instead of having to cash it out hit with a fee and then yep. buy another coin. You can just convert it. Exactly. Yep. You can convert it. You can just switch it to something else. If you're like, you know what? I'm not feeling this. This isn't what I thought it was. Boom. You can just swap it for something else. Yeah. So yep. also, too, yeah. I saw, I was reading that Binance is, is pretty secure too. Binance USA. Binance yeah, I USA. think Binance is pretty, uh, Binance USA is pretty good. I know that uh, Binance, uh, it is what, a, what they call it, uh, OGB, OGB Binance. I, th I think they call it the that's original Binance. Yeah. Um. So basically, there's two Binances. The, yeah. The OGB Binance is the original Binance that CZ um that CZ made, um. But it wasn't like you know super heavy regulated or whatever. And then they made Binance US, which uh, Brian Brooks, he's the actual CEO of of uh, uh Binance US. That's the one that okay. is regulated. Okay. Yeah. Um. So if you do get on Binance, you want to make sure you're on Binance US. Yeah. When I Binance started, Binance I was US. on the original Binance, and then like okay, so when I started, I started maybe back in like you know dibbling and dabbling because I didn't really mm. even it. I just like somebody told me I met this kid actually. He was like 24 years old, man. And he had so much money, so much money. He made mm. so much money on crypto, right? And I'm like, really? And he was like, yeah, do this, do that, do this. And he's like, man, I could mentor you. But then, I don't know, he just kind of dipped on me or whatever. Anyway, but he gave gotcha. a couple tips to just kind of get me going. And I went and I bought Ethereum, XRP, and a couple others. And I forgot about them, right? Bought them on Binance, forgot about them. And at this time, I think Bitcoin was maybe at like 13,000, something like that. Mm -hmm. I was like, But I think back then you couldn't buy fractional. I don't think you could buy fractional back then. And maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe you could. I don't know. But I don't think you could buy fractional. And I saw Bitcoin. I was like, $13,000. I mean, I can't do that. You know? Um, but then, you know, Ethereum was kind of cheap and XRP was kind of cheap. So I bought that. 
and then I just I just forgot about it because I really I still wasn't a believer. I just right like, right. You just you say hey I'll buy some and then I'll forget about it. Right. right. So fast forward to maybe last year, kind of started thinking about it, got back into it, and I hopped on Binance, and Binance was like, oh, you're a U.S. citizen, you can no longer trade on here. You have to go over to Binance.us, and I was like, what? Mm, got you. Yeah yeah yeah. So I had to get all my coins out of there, and I still have some in there that I can't transfer out for whatever reason. I can't convert it. Oh man. Church, yeah, so it's just sitting there, but it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely been some rough things like that, you know, because you know, you forget about it. You know, you get it, you get in at the moment, and then you forget about it, and then things and that's progress that, uh that's happening, you know, in the background. Yeah. And then when you come back, they're like, Oh, you know, this, that, that, you know, that's because they're trying to get the whole market regulated, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah. But yeah, yeah man. I did uh, did have quite a bit of the XRP in there, so I was happy about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, but yeah, I got man, it over. So uh, Coinbase. It's, it's just a it's just a beautiful space, but yeah, there's there's so much, so much more that um, you know, and and on my uh, on my website, I have a few like little training modules. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to get somewhere. I just been on the lake, guys. I just been having fun. Uh, spending time with my dad, you know, so yeah. I didn't really have time to do any more uh, YouTube videos. But if I get some people hit me up, that might kind of, you know, light a fire and want me to get get excited again and, you know, and help people out, you know, because I love doing it, you know. Yeah. But, you know, I feed off of, you know, people asking questions and wanting to know more. It gets me excited and it, it makes me want to share more and, you know, get people hooked up. So uh, because... Yeah. Yeah, this is this is generational wealth here uh transfer we're talking about man you want to know more make sure you hit him up y'all i got it i got the links in the description down there so make sure you hit him up i got two more questions and we're gonna jump into yeah something. yeah yeah do, do we have anybody on uh that got any questions or is anybody on that may have questions that you see if, if not no big deal nobody's in the comments yet okay that's cool but yeah so i got two more questions for you before we talk about this game and stuff um one is what is your blockchain of choice well my blockchain of choice is right behind me tron <laughs> tron network okay yeah, tron network my my so i have to segue on that my second runner up would be uh it, well let me be clear here as far as use case that i'm using right now so let me be clear right there my as far as uk use case and utility it would be tron then binance smart chain and then hopefully it will then be XRP. Okay. So those are my top. Those are my personal top three. Why Tron? Well, Tron is you know really easy to use, and if you you freeze your Tron, you get zero fees. So that's one thing I like about Tron Network. You don't have any fees if you freeze your Tron. Okay. Um, and it's just really it's just a really cool system to use. Um, it's got a a lot of really cool DApps on there um so yeah i like i love tron okay and what does it take to create your own coin and do you ever have any aspirations to create uh, coin? well so there is that question is a little tricky because to create your coin is not really that hard uh te well technically um you can just go on the system and create a coin but the thing that people don't understand just like the question you asked how do you bring something value in order for you to actually have value for your coin, people need to be able to do be able to do something with your coin. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that 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 you know that requires a lot of energy and the know-how to develop you know things like that. So I'm not a programmer. That's the only thing. Like I understand okay. the blockchain. Gotcha. I can read you know the code and get pick a few things out of it. But when it comes to sitting down writing the code, nah. That double OG don't do that. You know what I'm saying? For you. I yeah. got a question for you. And I know others will want to know the answer to this. Can you speak on the rise and fall of Dogecoin? What happened there? Because everybody went into a frenzy uh, buying Doge. Dogecoin. Talked up with Elon <laughs> Musk. It was supposed to be the biggest thing. Doge to the moon. People, I'm telling you, all these celebrities got on board. People who never even thought about, they had people. Buying in the Doge, had, they knew nothing about crypto. All they knew is that it was a bunch of hype. They bought in and then oh. crashed down to the earth after Elon Musk got on there talking about it's a hustle. Right. 
I don't understand it. Okay, so this is my personal opinion on it, and I think most people would probably agree. But all right, just like anything in the crypto market, it can be manipulated. All right, so Doge has been a, a lot of people don't know Doge has been around since I think 2014. Okay, so there's there's so many people that have been buying Doge for for like for years. You know what I mean? Like at least you know eight eight years you know whatever you know what i'm saying like i mean a long time you know what i'm saying maybe not eight years but you know what i'm saying a long time so the thing behind doge was i really think it just came down to like elon musk other people just they just jumped on a gravy train you know and they just pumped the 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 shit out of it excuse my <laughs> french and you know all those people that's been holding doge they dumped on on everybody they sold you know yeah and so you know it is what it is but you know i think doge my you know i'm kind of torn because when i first got in doge was like oh it's a mean coin it's a mean coin don't take it seriously but i forgot the 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 key fundamental about cryptocurrency what gives it value is people's belief in it people's excitement in it right and nobody saw that elon musk and all these other people mark cuban all these other people be pumping dogecoin nobody saw that right there's there's no crystal ball that anybody could have had anywhere that would have said this is gonna happen you know right so you know it that's just one thing about uh about crypto but um but i will say this i do think that Outside of Dogecoin being a mining coin, outside of Dogecoin being an inflationary coin, which means more coins are added to the supply over time. Um, and there's other coins that do that. You know, I think I think Ethereum does that, and I think Tron does it as well, but they, they may have a different percentage. But the thing about Dogecoin is the the main thing about Dogecoin is uh that I believe or uh, uh, uh if I can recall is the creator of doge has a significant amount of doge now i think he's done a pretty good job not just dumping it obviously because you know he could have dropped it a lot worse but i do think there's a lot of utility that possibly could come in the future for doge uh okay. even with all those things i just said so i'm kind of excited to see what does end up happening with Doge. so it's got me kind of rethinking doge um you know i'm not saying go buy doge that's not what i'm saying but I'm just saying that, you know, do your research and I'm I'm looking at it because I know that Flare uh, Network is, uh, and like I said, that's part of uh, XRP, the XRP Ledger, XRPL. Okay. They're, they're talking about bringing Doge over to the XRP Ledger. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. I, I kind of long-winded. You know, I like to, you know I me, mean? I like to be, you know, full, uh, full disclosure. As far as what I know, or at least the information I knew at the time, but yeah, that's that's what I think is uh, potentially going to happen. Yeah. So Doge may hope. Doge may hit a dollar. I'm still holding, man. I never sold mine. I didn't have yeah, a yeah, yeah yeah. I didn't have a significant enough to where when it bottomed out, it hurt me. You know. Yeah. But I got enough to where if it does go to the moon, I'm good. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> you know. So I just help. Hey, hey, hold them, model man. Just hold them, hold them. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know, we call it HODL. You know, it's hold, but HODL. Just yeah. hold on to it. Hold on to it. Gotta do it. And we're still early. You know, the way I look at crypto, we're, we're like those people when when they say, okay, the party starts at 6, you get there at 4 p.m., and you're just sitting around, you're helping everybody set up the party. That's, <laughs> that's, that's where we are right now in crypto. So all of us people, we're early adopters. So, you know, everybody else is, you know, there's 8 billion people on the planet. There's less than, you know, 300 million people in crypto. So just to give you an idea there, there's there's only and I'm and I'm being very generous here. I said 300 million, it's probably maybe about 100 million, but there's probably, you know, less than 300 million people in crypto, period, on the planet. There's eight about 8 billion people on the planet. Okay? So we're early to the party. So just relax. Just buy what you can. Get you know, give what you can. Just the value of these coins went off. Yeah, imagine the value. Oh, that money. Oh my god, it's it's gonna be astronomical. It's it's gonna be ridiculous. It's crazy. It's gonna be completely ridiculous, man. Let's talk about gaming. I never. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Talk to you about gaming, gaming. 
Oh yeah, for like, sure. What, what's your background in that? Like, what, what are you playing? Uh, what's the system well, play on? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I've been a gamer. Um, man, I've been a gamer since I was five. Uh, you know, I started on the NES. Uh, went to the SNES. Uh, that's Super Nintendo. Sega, you know, all, uh, the whole shebang. You know, I go through all the consoles, but I went through the whole shebang. Um, but the games that I play right now, I was I was really, well, before then, I was really big on, like, I play Halo Wars. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> I, don't know if you ever, I don't know if you ever played or heard of Halo Wars, but I man, have. talk about the first one, the original Halo Wars. That was on the 360. Oh, my God, that game was so much fun. Um, play Halo Wars. Um and uh just a whole bunch of other games like Pikmin, uh you know street fighter contra you know just going through all the games mega man but the the games that i play now are more like um like the one game i play most right now is uh dota so i play dota too so if anybody out there is a gamer and uh you, you know you want to play with me um you know just look me up mason double og on steam um, you know, I'll play some Dota with you, you know, Dota 2 or whatever. That PC based? Uh yeah, it's it's a PC game by Steam by Valve. Okay. And um it's it's like a top down view, uh like a MOBA. It's a it's a uh five V five uh player uh fighting game. Okay. And then I have some other games that I play, um what is it? Uh, uh Oxygen Not Included. That game is really fun. It's like uh you actually design your your own base basically as you're building it. And uh, I mean, you have to do you have to manage everything from the plumbing to your quarters, your wow. food production, your oxygen, um, you know, like, you know, you got you got to dig coal so you can feed the coal generator to produce electricity. You got to run the wires. You got to have batteries. I mean, it, that game is amazing. Um, but, yeah, it's called Oxygen Not Included. Uh, it's by Clay, the same people that made Don't Starve. Um, yeah. But yeah, I love gaming. <laughs> do, you get, do you get into the the whole live streaming, like people watching you play and all that? Um, I did, I did uh, do a few on, uh, like I played some. Um, I had some older videos on my YouTube channel. I did like some uh, streaming where I was playing Dragon Ball Z. Okay. I did that a few times. Um, and uh, Dota, but the the problem that I had, especially with Dota. Dota, Dota requires Dota is like playing live chess, basically, like like real time chess. I'll say that, mm. and so it takes a lot of like thought process, right? So if I'm trying to like live stream, I feel like I got to be entertaining, but at the same time I'm trying to focus. Yeah. So I I, I can't find that balance, man. I'm just like Those I'm just I'm back. just sitting there like you know just playing it, and they're like, okay, what's happening? You know? <laughs> right. Right. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's, so it's a little hard, but um. But usually what I do now is like I'll play, I'll play the game, record it, and then I'll go back over it with my voice and just kind of while, you know, while, as I'm, after I've already played the game, I can just relax and just kind of tell you what's going on and, mm. you know, make comments and then it'll be a little bit more fun, a little bit more entertaining. You should, you should upload that. Well, it, well, it's on there. It's on there. Already. Oh, it's on there. Okay. Okay. So you yeah, yeah, yeah. You can okay. check out. I got a few on there. Let, let me check. Let me check my YouTube real quick and make sure. So I know I got a few. Um, I know I got a few Dota matches on. I'm pretty sure I got at least one on there. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's see. But no, go, but go ahead while I'm doing this. Uh, well, you were talking else? about. You were talking, saying something about you. Uh, you kind of want to do like some philanthropic philanthropy work as far as like game, like future gamers who don't have the means to buy a gaming system or whatever you want to kind of give back and help them out. Can you speak to that? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. Um, yeah, I think that would be really, really cool. You know, like once I get, you know, ultimately like what my goals are, you know, but um, I would like to do that, you know, be able to give back to, you know, kids that want to be able to play games, but they can't afford it or or like their parents can't afford to get them a PC. That would be like really cool, you know, to do like giveaways and stuff like that one day. Um, yeah. So, you know, you know, just supporting the gamer community. Because we, we are a very huge, you know, it's funny because, like, back in the day when we used to say you're a gamer, you were like, oh, you're a nerd, you know, da, da, da. But now gaming is cool. Gaming is in Gaming now. is cool, man. People, you know, you know what I'm saying? Money. Like, yeah, if, if you're not a gamer, somebody's game. like, what's wrong with you? You don't play video games? Like, what's right. wrong with you, you know? Exactly. Now, it's so, like you can no longer tell a child, like, boy, get out of here and go outside and do something or be productive. Yeah, right. Like, you can't do that because 
that kid can make a million dollars playing a game. Dude. And that's what I was just about to say. There's kids that make way more money than their parents playing exactly. video games. Playing video games. And ter- I yep. met one. I met one. He came out here to Atlanta to play in a, in, in a competition. And this dude was paid, man. He was paid. He wasn't He wasn't top notch, but he was up there. He was, t- was kind of breaking it down how they tear it. He was like, yeah, like first place, man, they get millions. He's like, there's a kid. He's like 14 years old. He's like, no one can beat him. He's a millionaire. And he's like, I'm going to play against him now. Nobody can beat him though. That is crazy. I just That's- sent you my bad. I just sent you a link on one of the things if you want to post that. Okay. That's one of my Dota matches uh, when I was playing. Yeah, I'll put um, that but in. but yeah, man, like it's it's unbelievable. And and this Dota game, um, they have a competition every year, uh, anywhere between fifteen to twenty five million dollars to the winner of the tournament, and it's five people. Only so, five there people? you go. Yeah, there you go. Five oh people. Oh my god, that's crazy. you know it's, it's it's multiple teams of five people, but only one team can win. Right. And then whoever wins gets the whole pool, and they split the twenty five million between themselves. That is crazy. So five million, man. Yeah, you crazy. Just get out there, and start competing. I know. Well, I gotta. Well, see, that's the, that's the problem. I gotta have a team. Yeah, you gotta pull it because team. I can't play Dota by myself. I have to have a team. And trust me, I've been looking, but it's hard. It's hard to find. You know, with the different time zones and then different skill levels and then people who really want to do it. Yeah. But I would definitely be down with it. If anybody on here wants to do it and want to learn how to play Dota, you know, I'll, I'll put in that investment. And we can build a team and we can compete. Man, I'm telling you, this whole technology age internet man virtual is what can't you do and there's so many ways there, to, there's to, no to limits learn. and you could oh. you could do even more if you know how to program yeah that's the thing if you know how to program you could do even more um did you ever see that movie i'm trying to think what was it called um it was a it was a virtual type movie um was it i think it was ready player one no, I've never seen that. Did you, okay. Well, anyway, uh, Ready Player One, it was like the whole movie was about everybody was doing virtual stuff. They were making money, like everything. Like the whole the whole movie was about everything virtual. Yeah, so that's that's all everybody did. They go to work. As soon as they get off, they, they dump all their stuff, get on get on the uh, visors. Yeah. They're on the game. They're not even, they're like, forget the real world. The real world <laughs> doesn't even exist. Because when you think about it, the digital world is so much more fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, 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 have you ever done VR? Yeah. Have you ever done VR? Yeah. Okay, so imagine doing VR, how much fun that is, and now you can make money. Exactly. This is crazy. <laughs> you're you're done. There's like, no reason why no anybody when I, when I get play this game, have so much fun and make a living. Yeah. There's so many ways to make money out here. So many ways to just create a stream of income. Yeah, it's crazy. Man. Wow. Listen, man, I appreciate you, brother. Oh yeah, most definitely, man. We've been appreci- going all night, but yeah. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your knowledge. Just being transparent, you know. Um, anybody who wants to check out Mason, man, please go to the website. His the website link is in the description down below. Down below, just click the link, check him out. Any questions, holler at him, get at him. He's an open book. Um, yeah, man. But this crypto thing is real, y'all. And I hope y'all took something away from this. Look, virtual real estate that you can actually earn real income on, man. That blew my mind. Listen, y'all, I'm going to put the link to that website down below, too. Just know that you will need a Tron wallet. Research that. Talk to <laughs> talk to Mason. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, But it's real. It's real. It's real. It's real. And I, that's why I had to have you on here. You know? Appreciate it, man. Bring Mason on here for you guys to just kind of open it, open up the, you know, open up the, the world to you, man. Yeah. yeah, just open your mind up a little bit. Just got to be a little bit open. That's all. You know, we were all there, but... Just trying to help you out because time is running out, basically. So yeah, before it pops, you know, time is running out. Before it pops, and then you're just gonna be one of the many. You know, yep. not to like, say you... like on my like on my website say, don't get left behind. Yeah, yeah, it's real. Well, listen, brother, I appreciate you, man. Really do. Uh, like I said, I hope everybody tuned in has gotten some value out of this. 
can take it and go do great things. Yep. Trust me, you can. <laughs> you can. Believe yep. me. Yeah. So listen, y'all. Kicking with Cool Card every Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is episode 85. If you missed it, go stream it. You might jump in at the end. Go stream it. It'll be live on the channel. It is live on the channel. Y'all check it out. Um, yeah, man. We're here. You never know more. who I might have. I'll be back next week. Every Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Kicking with Cool Card. Mason Double OG. Check the website. All the links below. Crypto is real. DeFi is real. I'm telling you. Peace. Get hey, man. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> All right, All right. Take care, man. Yes, sir. All right. Peace out. Peace.